So welcome to the wonderful world of quartz. As you can see, this tree that we bought in Tucson, it has a quartz crystal base, and most of the leaves are different uh, colors, different varieties of quartz. Quartz is one of the most abundant of all the gemstones in the world and the most varied in colors. This is a, a rose quartz parrot. There's Pam standing in front of a large, huge quartz. There's a Ron Coleman quartz that was uh, uh, we saw in Tucson at the Gem and Mineral Co-op, and it was a uh, it's a it's a museum quality piece. Lamps here made out of uh, quartz with a light inside of it. I've I definitely going to get one of these someday. I love these things. More uh, carvings from Brazil out of rose quartz and crystal quartz. There's the one Pam and I have with the white quartz, the snow, uh, snow owls. And uh, I love it. It's rose quartz little porcupines, hedgehogs, whatever you want to call them. Super cute. We have a tree with this base that has a amethyst, which is a quartz base. One way you can tell quart if, if something's real or not too, quartz is always very cold. Here's another Ron Coleman piece that came from Arkansas. Very, very high quality uh, sample. It's one Pam and I have at home. We love it. Just something to look at. I mean, you know, it's, you just can't do much with it. This is a uh, spear, uh, all smoky quartz. That's about a uh, 400 carat uh, piece of uh, mineral. Not very valuable, but it's just fun, fun to look at. I broke the point off bringing it home from Tucson. I was like, dang it, I can't believe that. This is a rough rose quartz little candle voltive. Uh, you can see the little small candle down inside of it. There again, not a very expensive piece. Here is an amethyst uh, geode, a small one that we keep at home. It has a, a beautiful, beautiful deep purple color. Love this one. And here's another amethyst base on our carved uh, toucan. We don't have him named, but we love him. And then this is what citrine looks like. Citrine is a quartz like amethyst, only in yellow. And it is the birthstone for November, a beautiful stone. We'll show you some more here in a minute. This is another, this is a rock quartz. It's a good specimen. It came from uh, Brazil. This large amethyst geode that we keep in the store, uh, I bought about 20 years ago. It came from Brazil. Looks like nothing on the outside, but inside is beautiful. And very heavy. I carried this thing on the airplane all the way home. Here's that quartz again on my, in my office. This is a 100 carat uh, rutilated quartz. You can see the rutile needles inside the quartz. I think that makes it very, very interesting. And uh, I kept this on my desk for years and just, I just love looking at it. Kind of a rust colored. Um, we'll do something with it someday maybe. Here's a 230 carat smoky quartz that is super well faceted. Uh, I love sometimes taking this and holding it up to the light and turning it. It looks like a kaleidoscope. Another good, here's a good example of a finished piece of quartz. This is amethyst, the most popular of all the quartz stones, a deep purple. And we have here a uh, rutilated quartz. You see the rutile needles inside the quartz, kind of a smoky color. And then this one is a smoky quartz that is, has a fantasy cut. Nothing fancy. These are very inexpensive, but they can be a lot of fun and make a nice piece of jewelry. We also have this uh, moonstone quartz that has sort of a moon glow to it. We've shown some of these on the shows before. And then a uh, one, one of my most my best ones I like are these green quartz. They have all have all kinds of names. They've been called green quartz. They've been called green amethyst. They're called proselyte. Several different names for these, but they are a beautiful kind of a minty medium green color. We have a few pieces we're going to show tonight. Uh, we have a ring and a necklace we're going to ha have available tonight. And then we have crystal quartz, which is just completely clear, like the ones you saw from uh, that came from uh, Arkansas. This one has a triangle fantasy cut. 
We have a, a necklace and pair of earrings tonight that are going to be uh, in the clear, clear uh, quartz crystal. Another citrine piece. This is a cushion-shaped citrine, sort of a medium color. Not um, There's lots of different colors in citrine. This is my favorite, the Madeira color, which has that deeper orangey uh, yellow color to it. My favorite. This is a really big pear shape, make a beautiful necklace. And we'll make it someday maybe, unless somebody picks it out. And here's more pictures of our tree. I'm going to try to get some of these next year in Tucson because so many customers say, hey, can you get me one of those? I would love to have one of those. So we're going to try to get some more next year. Uh, this is the one that, we, that was came back, got broken in shipping, but Pam repaired it. Uh, not good enough to sell, but it's great for a display piece. And we love it. We have that small, smaller one at home that has all green leaves on it, and it's pretty cool. But you can see this has a amethyst, clear quartz, rose quartz, and a carnelian, which is a kind of a reddish or orangey quartz, quartz, excuse me. And let's see. It's, it's a centerpiece. I love it. It's a great piece. Very heavy, and uh, it's very fun. I've seen some. They have some in Tucson that is tall as a man. Now here you can take this, sometimes I'll take this, this particular stone and I'll hold it up to a light and turn it. This is not showing it very well, but you can see how it does 